Hey guys, welcome back to Stuff and Things. On today's episode, it's that wonderful time of year again. E3. So, the big announcements have come out. The big console war has really ramped up, and we're going to talk about it. With E3 this week, the fanboys are pounding at the gates. And Microsoft and Sony both gave us more details on their systems, so who won? Well, for most people, and their moms, who are probably going to buy their consoles for Christmas and stuff for their younger viewers, the number one consideration is price. Especially, you know, how things are going right now in the world. Most people, most economy-wise, price is most important. Well, it's a clear winner on this one. Xbox announced their price at $4.99 for US dollars, $4.99 for euros, and, and uh, $4.49 sterling pounds. Now, that does screw over our European friends, and it's a pretty steep margin. That's about what everything was seven, eight years ago when it originally came out. Sony, on the other hand, are going for a $3.99 price point. And of course, same thing, euros and then 50 bucks savings on the pounds. Well, I guess 50 pounds. Again, screwing over our European friends. But hey, 100 bucks less. The most controversial issue is the used games thing. Sony doesn't plan to put any restriction on used games. With that in mind, they use the phrase true consumer ownership. It sounds so hippy. They don't plan on making us do any online check-ins to make sure that we have bought the game fair and square. However, all that being said, it still doesn't negate the EULA agreements. Now, these are gaming consoles, so games. Most important thing ever, and both did bring some exclusives to the table. Starting with the Xbox, they do have the new Metal Gear Solid as a timed exclusive. No details on exactly how timed that is. Uh, new Minecraft, the Xbox One version to go alongside with your Pocket Edition, your actual PC version, your Xbox 360 Edition. None of them are good, sort of. Complete. New Killer Instinct title, which should excite a lot of fans, except it is made by a studio, has not done anything good. New Forza game, excellent. Project Spark, a new weird sandbox game that actually looks incredibly interesting. New Halo, of course, that goes without saying. Dead Rising 3, Drab. Titanfall, interesting. Rise, a Roman-esque God of War clone. Might be a QT mess, who knows. And The Witcher 3, which are past two Witcher games have been excellent. Witcher 3 is going to be an open world game. Very exciting. And Sony's exclusives are the following games. Knack, Killzone, Infamous, Destiny, Final Fantasy XV, which let's hope and pray that this one is actually good, Kingdom Hearts 3, Diablo 3, not a new game really, but uh, new to the PlayStation, Final Fantasy XIV for you MMO players, Elder Scrolls Online! Oh, so excited for this. Mad Max, and The Order. 1886, which is a steampunk game, and, you know, steampunk. Sony also put some focus on their support for indie developers, because they're not actually doing any licensing fees for indie devs. It's amazing. So we're going to see amazing games like Bastion, weird ones like Don't Starve, really weird ones like Octodad, and a remake of Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey. Where'd that come from? Xbox Gold members will now actually be able to get something for the money that they're putting in other than playing online with friends. And that is two free games a month. However, it is unknown how long that will last for, so, you know, get your games while you can. And the PlayStation 4 will require that you get PS Plus, but pretty much everybody has that anyway because it's cheap and awesome. Now both Sony and Microsoft did announce various games for the PS3 and Xbox 360, but who really cares about those? We probably only be buying a couple games from now until the holiday season when the Xbox new Xbox comes out in November and the PS3 comes out, they said holiday, so I guess November to Christmas. So, our dear gentle viewers, what we need to know, we need to know it from you, is which console are you gonna get? Which one? Which one? The PS4? The Xbox? Whatever it's called? I don't even care. Let us know in the comments down below. And if you've liked what you've seen today, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And we'll check you out in the next video. Bye!
which is tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye! First up, we will talk about bone tumors in Neanderthals. And we'll look at a new strategy for helping out our friendly bees. And finally, cloaking information in fiber optic data streams. Dun dun dun! Welcome back to Stuff and Things. On today's episode, the last episode of the week, we are firstly going to talk about a skeleton, an itty bitty skeleton, that was recovered 10 years ago, has recently been identified as one of our ancestors. Also on the show, scientists again confirm something we already know. And lastly, the Curiosity Rover goes on a road trip. 